Hello. Uh, very good to be here all the way from Estonia. I'm Markus Willig, founder and CEO at Taxify. And we're the fastest growing ride sharing company on the planet. So uh, first of all, what do we do? Uh, we're making people's lives better by improving the biggest waste they have in their lives, which is, the, which is transport. So in Europe and Africa, people are spending 15 to 20 percent of their money on moving around in the city. And everywhere they spend 30 to 60 minutes of every day just commuting. So, so this is literally the biggest industry there is where you can make people's lives better in the next few years. So what, what are we doing about it? We have now operated for uh, about four years. Uh, we're doing millions and millions of journeys every month with a team of already 400 people. So I think a lot of you here haven't realized that Estonia has, over the past year, uh, suddenly made quite a big tech company in the region. So obviously, there's dozens and dozens of companies working on ride-sharing around the world because the industry is so large. So what, what are some tips and tricks how to compete with companies who are raising 10 billion, 15 billion, and then you're head-to-head -head with them in the same market? What we have seen really works best is that, first of all, you should pick an industry that's large enough that you can fit multiple plus 10 billion companies there. So you don't necessarily need to be the biggest in the world. Even if you're number two, you can still be huge. So that's really one of the main things. Secondly, once you have identified a very good market, you actually just need to be very, very disciplined and focused. What we have seen over the past few years is that regardless of how much money companies raise, as long as you keep focused on your customers and you keep focused on your markets, it doesn't really matter. Because over time, these companies will be making mistakes regardless of how big they are. And if you get lucky, like this year, then they make a ton of mistakes. So uh, that, that's essentially one of these main things. You should never get discouraged. Just really keep it up. Keep your head down, keep working, and just identify when are they making mistakes and just use them. So in our case, what does it mean? As, as transport this is a marketplace where we're connecting riders to drivers, it means that uh, platforms, when they get big and greedy, they start to charge customers more. They want to pay drivers less. So instead of getting greedy, as a small player, what we do is just try to charge as little as possible, not as much as possible. So both sides are actually happy, and, and they switch to us. So th this is really one of the main things and applies to most industries. Uh, and secondly, it's very important to identify that you stay focused on your local market. So what we are doing across Europe and Africa is, is that we identify what are these local things, what we can do, and, and be, be better in, in 10 small different ways. So we don't need to be drastically different. It's OK if you do a ton of small things in a better way. For us, this means, for example, payment methods. So in Kenya, we have integrated M-Pesa, which is essentially what most people used to pay. In Eastern Europe, we, we started with cash because most people didn't have online payment cards they could use. So and you can identify these possibilities in, in every single industry. So really, what we have proven over the past year is that you don't need a big miracle. You can just build a huge company by focusing on the details and, and just not getting discouraged. And lastly, on a, on a wider note, on European startups in general, I think th this really applies to everybody in this room is that, uh, being honest, US tech companies are dominating us in basically every industry. And uh, if we see that at all the industries, even traditional ones, are moving to digital over the next 10 years, then the current track record for Europe isn't great. If this keeps going on, that US is dominating the internet uh, sectors, then we're going to be losing all the traditional ones as well. So Europe really has like this decade to wake up and actually have enough ambitious companies, ambitious founders, invest enough into talent to make sure that we're still relevant in a decade. Because otherwise, these old industries like transport, they're getting digitalized, and we'll lose these as well. So really, I think we're making good progress, but we need to accelerate this significantly over the next years. And, and again, European startups should not get discouraged. Like, even if you're competing with the biggest tech companies in the world, you work hard, you can still win. So that's it for me. Thanks.